Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to find and validate values in XML or JSON responses in Catalan Studio. So if you are working with API web services, whether it is REST or SOAP, you will most probably have the response messages in either JSON format or XML format and you will have a need to verify the values within those XML or JSON response messages. So let us see how we can do that very easily with Catalan Studio and I will go very basic step by step and I will show you a direct way and also a manual way to do that. So I will go to my Catalan Studio and I am using the version 5.8.3 so you can verify if you are using the same version. So you should be having this version or a later version of Catalan Studio and here I have some sample uh, API requests both SOAP and REST and let us see how to do that. I will first take example of a REST request. So here I have this REST request and if I run this request I will get a JSON message. So here this is sending the request and here you can see I have got uh, the response and it is in JSON format. Now with Catalan Studio 5.8.3 version and onwards we have a direct way to create a verification checkpoint for a particular value so if you go to verification tab here you can see we have some snippets so you can either use these snippets you have a snippet here called response body json value check if you click here you can see we have got this snippet created here which is using the keyword verify element property value and here it takes the response object and then we have to provide the location or the json path and then the value now here the manual way the manual thing that you will need to do is to find out the json path and provide it here now with catalan studio 5.8.3 this is very easy you can just go to the element or the value for example i want to verify charles here and if you are on mac press command k and if you are on windows press ctrl and k key simultaneously so i will press command and k simultaneously and you can see a new verification snippet is created here and generated here and it has created the json path and the value directly so you can do this like this and here if i now say test request and verify and say ok this should verify that charles is the value which is present on this particular x path sorry json path so here if I go to verification logs now you can see everything is passed and if I just make a change here let us say I say here I want to verify Tom and I run this again and say ok this time this should fail so this particular verification should fail and if I go to the verification log you can see this is showing failure and here you can see it is saying expected was Tom but actual was Charles so that is why it failed now this was the very straightforward uh, way that you can use in Catalan Studio 5.8.3 and later versions just in case you want to create this path yourself manually what you can do is copy your JSON path so I will select and copy my JSON path go to Google and search for JSON Pathfinder and here you will get this jsonpathfinder.com go here and then you can put your json path here or the json response message here and then here you can see it has it is giving us all these details if i expand this and expand this i can see this is the value i want to verify i will click here and you can see here it has generated the json path i can just take it from here and copy in my Catalan Studio that you can see this is the same thing here. The other thing is, the other way is uh, if you go to your Chrome browser and go to apps and go to web store, here you will find a plugin which is the same JSON path finder and take this plugin. So let me just show you the plugin here. JSON Pathfinder is the plugin you can get it in my case I already have added in my Chrome browser and you can see this is the icon so this is JSON Pathfinder I will click here 
and I will copy my JSON path or JSON response here and then I just have to give the node name here so for example this is what I want to find first name I will give it here and then I will say submit and here you can see it has given us the path matching for first name so it is present in three instances and this is the one we want so I will just copy this from here and I can give it in my keyword here so this is the manual way however with Catalon Studio latest version you can directly get it by pressing command key or control key on your keyboard just put your cursor on wherever you want to find out and press command key or control key and it will give you the verification snippet you can also use this directly in your test cases so this is the uh, keyword you can also see it here if you go to keyword browser go to built-in keywords web service keyword and go to element so this is what is being used here verify element property value now let us see the similar thing for soap so here I have a soap web service API and this is a calculator API and here I have used a addition request 2 and 4 and it should give me the result as 6 so if I run this I am sending the request and let us wait for the response you can see this is an XML response and I am getting the value 6 in the result now I want to verify this particular value 6 so again I will go to verification tab and here uh, you can see we do not have directly an XML value check so let me hide the snippets and I will use the direct way which is I will click here in the response I will click on 6 and then press command plus K on my keyboard and if you are on Windows you can press Control plus K and you can see I have got this snippet here so here I have directly got this verification snippet which is giving me the X path body dot add response dot add result and the value is 6 so if I test request and verify now let us see the result now it should show me pass I will also show you a manual way of doing this so yes it is showing pass and if I go to verification log here there is some issue so if I go a little above and check what is the problem so here here it is not verifying so what you can do in case of XML verify element property value might not work so there is another keyword which is verify element text so let us use this verify element text here and again I will say test request and verify and run this and let us verify the response this time so here you can see we have got this X path as body dot add response dot add result and here you can see again in the verification log there is some failure so here if I go here and see so here there is some problem what you can do is take your response so here this is my response body what you can do is you can start after the body so I will just delete the body and I will take add response and then dot add result so this is I want to verify let me just run this again and validate so in case of JSON it was very straightforward in case of XML you might have to do these kind of changes and looks like this time it passed and if I make the change here I am saying 5 this time this should fail and I will again say test request and verify so this is sending the request and this is fine if I go to verification log you can see there I have got a failure and if I look at the reason you can see expected was 5 but actual was 6 so this is how you can use it you can use the same snippet in your test cases now just in case uh, you are not getting this X path what you can do is go to Google and search for XPath generator 
and here you will get this XML toolbox online XPath generator and here you can see here it says insert your XML in the big field and then to generate an XPath place the cursor in the text attribute or element you want an XPath to so I will get my XML here I will copy my XML and give it here and then I just have to click on the element that I want X path to I will click here and you can see it has generated the X path now you might not be able to use this directly in the same format in Catalon studio so what you will do is until this body I will just delete everything and I will start after body which is add response and again all this I will delete and I will say dot and the next tag or element is add result so my X path for Catalon studio comes out to be add response dot add result and this is the same that I have used here as well you can see this is the same thing so this is how you can also generate it manually in case you are not getting the correct results from this auto generated snippet and also I will make all these URLs available in the notes for you so you will find all these notes in the description or notes section of this video and this is the JSON path I will also make this available here and this is the XML toolbox so this is how you can uh, use Catalon Studio to find and validate values in JSON and XML responses for API testing I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.